Okay, number, okay, number one. one. So, so the volume, volume of a, of a cylinder, cylinder is 360 is cubic inches. Which equation can be used to find B, capital B, the area of the base of the cylinder? Okay, so the volume of a cylinder. So what's the formula for volume of a cylinder? Volume of a cylinder is BH. Big B, you know, I mean. Yeah, so capital B times H, which is area of the base times height. So we're having to work backwards. So if they gave us the volume, I'm still going to plug in just like I would normally. Plug in your formula. So 360 for the volume. And we're looking to see which equation could be used to find B if we knew the height. So like a one-step equation. Say we knew the height. Say the height was like, I don't know, 7 or something. So how would you solve for that capital B? What would we need to do? One-step equation. If you're multiplying these two things together, you would divide. Yes, it's going to be B. Number two, a cylinder has a diameter of 10 and a height of H. Which equation can be used to find the volume of the cylinder? First thing, do we ever use the diameter in these formulas no. so far? What do we use? The radius. We half it. The radius, so we cut that diameter in half. So radius is actually five. five. So the volume of a cylinder is area of the base times the height. And since it's a cylinder, our base is a circle. So it's really pi r squared times height. If you look at your answer choices, they already have pi included. So if we did pi plugged in for the radius, so 5 squared times the height. We think it's C, but what's wrong with C? R squared. Oh, it's not squared. Yeah, that's just R. I think it's, oh, it's A. So yeah, 5 times 5, 5 squared should be 25. Yeah, it should be. If that C had the squared above it, if it said 5 squared, then that would be right. But... Since it didn't, it just said five. We want to go with A. Okay, number three. Beads are sold in a cylindrical container with a diameter of 11. Can I go ahead and change that diameter? Yeah. To what? To 5.5. And a height of six centimeters. How many cubic centimeters? If you see the words cubic centimeters, that tells you you're looking for volume. Also, words like hold, like how much can fit inside of this container? How much can the container hold? We're looking for volume. And so we've been using that same formula, volume of a cylinder. So we'll write it down again. Volume of a cylinder is area of the base times height. Since you're... Since your base is a circle... Area of the base, pi r squared, times your height. So that's the formula you're going to use. All of your answer choices have that pi included. So it's saying that number times pi would be our answer. So when we go to solve this, just do that part of your formula. So exclude your pi, which is not what we would normally do, but just looking at those answer choices. So 5.5 squared times 6. So it normally won't be like that, but just be careful and double check. Okay, number four. Erin has an exercise ball in the shape of a sphere as shown below. She wants to increase the weight by filling it up with sand. How much sand will the ball hold completely? I just read that. Super weird. Will hold. But we're looking for volume. Filling it up. How much will it hold? Which of the following is closest to the amount of sand in cubic meters that Aaron's exercise ball will hold if it's completely full? What's the volume formula for a sphere? Four thirds. Four thirds. Uh, pi r squared. I mean, cubic. cubic. Right? Good. Radius cubed. So since that line is drawn all the way across my circle, I know that's my diameter. 
So I need half of that. Good. Right? Is it? Yeah, it is. So 37.5 is your radius. So four thirds, 3.14. How many find the height? You don't need the height for volume of a sphere. You just need radius. Good. So you should get C.